Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about S1 MME interface. S1 MME interface, in some of the documents, it is also referred as S1 CP or S1 C interface, where CP stands for the control plane. So this is the interface between E node B and MME. And this particular interface typically uses a protocol called as S1 AP protocol. S1 AP protocol runs on a protocol called as SCTP, Stream Control Transmission Protocol, which is an enhanced version of TCP protocol. And this SCTP typically supports multi-homing kind of features. And first time it was introduced in the SIGTRAN kind of environments, right? So S1 AP protocol is the protocol which is used between E node B and MME to communicate with each other. However, there are some messages which are sent to E node B from the UE and those messages are typically not meant for the E node B but meant for the MME. So what E node B does is E node B also encapsulates those messages into S1 AP protocol and sends those messages to MME. So just to keep it short, the UE sends the NAS message to E node B encapsulated in the RRC messages and E node B sends these messages to MME encapsulated in the S1 AP protocol so that the user NAS messages can reach to MME kind of network architect, uh, MME kind of network functions. Typically, this is a control interface between MME and E node B. MME or UE will also have NAS signaling via S1 MME interface that is mobility management messages. And the protocol what we use here is S1 AP protocol. So MME takes care of all the control plane functionality and is the entry point for the control plane in the core network. So that's all what we have in this video. See you in the next video.